Hey everyone, it's Nikki here. So a lot of you on Musical.ly have been asking how I do my braids. I'll do my double dutch braids and dutch braids and any other braids I do as well, but I figure to start off we should do the basics with just a French braid. It's really easy and simple once you get the hang of it. All it's going to take is a little bit of practice. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're braiding your hair is just kind of run your fingers through it. Get a feel for how your hair is feeling. Mine's feeling pretty rough right now cause last night was Canada Day and I was out drinking. So yeah, but that's okay. Uh, so as I said, just kind of run it through, frig my hair, but we're gonna go for it. So you can run your hands through your hair, shake it up a bit, loosen the strands and then divide it around the top and pull it back and up so that you can pull all the hair there and then separate the hair that's underneath that you don't want in it and then you're going to separate it into three strands there now i don't really think it matters whether you go right over left or left over right first. I like right over left just cause that's kind of like how I always do it. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna grab it all three strands in one hand. So the first strand is gonna go between either your pinky and ring or your ring and index. Then the next strand is gonna go between the index and middle and then your, finally the middle and the pointing finger. So what I do now is I just brought the right and the right strand over into the middle and then underneath the left strand bringing the left strand into the middle to kind of anchor it all now after what I do there I'll go back and do it again just to kind of show you guys so bringing it back to how it started off at the beginning with all three strands you're gonna take the right strand bring it over the middle strand and underneath and then bring it underneath of the left strand, bringing the left strand over into the middle. And then you can hold it there, pulling it all nice and tight. So I'm pretty sure actually I'm supposed to anchor it a, another time after that, bringing the uh, left over underneath of the right and bring the right under the middle. But again, I like to start everything on the right side so yeah, I don't anchor it a second time, I anchor it once. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna kind of play around with it, tighten it all up, clean it all up, make sure it's all nice and good, because you really want the anchor to be a strong piece. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just bringing my finger down and I'm scooping up my hair. I'm using my pointer finger there to just scoop a little section up and add it into the right side that I'm gonna braid over top of the middle. And then I'm gonna pull it all tight, braid it over top of the middle, bringing the middle over to the right, making the new right section. And then we're going to go and do the same thing over on the left side, scooping up a little section of hair, adding it into the left section of the braid, grabbing the braid, bringing it over the middle section, bringing the middle underneath, making the new left section, grabbing it now in the left hand, starting with the left side, grabbing the whole thing in a fist, grabbing the middle with the middle finger and the right side with the pointer finger, scooping some hair from the right side, adding it into the right side of the braid, going under or over top, sorry, of the middle section, and then grabbing the hair again into the right hand, doing the same thing again on the left side, and we're just gonna repeat this until we get all the way down to the nape of the neck. Okay, so once you get down to the nape of the neck and you have all your hair in the braid, what you can do is with the rest of the hair, you can go on and just continuing it in a regular braid, going from one side over top of the middle to the other side over top of the middle and continuing on until you can eventually bring it down over your shoulder to one side to give your arms a little break. 
because by now they're probably pretty sore. And a little trick that I have found that helped me remember where I'm at in the braid is if I'm bringing the right side over to the middle, I'll bring it over the right shoulder. And if I'm bringing the left side over to the middle, I'll bring it over the left shoulder. Excuse that little transition there, sorry. I realized when I got about halfway through the braid that I didn't have an elastic. So yeah, kind of need one of those for a braid. And this would be the finished look. Now, as I say, I like to keep mine pretty tight, but if you want to make yours loose, you can. I'm just going to pull at it a little bit throughout there, make sure it's all in line and straight, looking good. I can't really see how it looks, but I can feel. So yeah, that's my everyday braid that I'll usually do if I'm going to work or going to run errands or anything like that. It's quick, takes about six minutes, and you can just rock it. I like to keep mine pretty tight. You can keep it loose if you want. I don't know. Depends on really what I'm doing. Sometimes I'll have a loose braid, but usually I like them pretty tight. Let me just say this, guys. In no way at all am I a makeup hair or beauty guru. You just asked me how I do my braids, so I figured I'd put them out there. And I think I'll also do a couple others throughout this week. Anyways. I am going to go shave and do my makeup and get ready for the rest of the day because, yeah, I just kind of rolled out of bed, was downstairs having a smoke, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do some braiding videos. We're going to see how this goes. Anyways, peace. Let me just say this, guys. In no ways at all am I a makeup, beauty, or hair guru. I just, you ask for the videos, so... Ha bit of a struggle at first, but once you get the hang of it, it should come pretty naturally. I think I have a weird hair. Is that a weird hair up there? That's a weird hair up there. I think I might have just made it worse. I don't know. I don't have a mirror right here. I'm recording in my sunroom, so I'm trying to look off the camera screen and it's not the easiest. Yeah, there is definitely a hair. It's not supposed to be there. And on this side too. But that's what happens when you don't have a mirror.